حديث السابع وثلاثون الحديث السابع وثلاثون the thirty seventh حديث عن عمار بن ياسر رضي الله تعالى عنه عنهما may Allah be pleased with him and his father قال he said بعثني النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في حاجة فأجنبت فلم أجد الماء فتمرغت في الصعيد كما تمرغ الدابة ثم أتيت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فذكرت ذلك له فقال إنما كان يكفيك أن تقول بيدك هكذا ثم ثم ضرب بيده الأرض ضربة واحدة ثم مسح الشمال على اليمين وظاهر وظاهر كفيه ووجه ووجهه This hadith is narrated by Bukhari and it's also narrated by Muslim. Bukhari narrated in Kitab Al-Tayammum and Muslim narrated in Kitab Al-Hayd. And Muslim narrated in Kitab Al-Hayd. The companion that narrated this hadith, his name is Ammar ibn Yasir Al-Ansi. Al-Ansi. Mawla Bani Khuzayma. Kunyatuhu, his kunya is Abu Al-Yaqdhan. Abu Al-Yaqdhan. Walidah. Sahabiyyat. His two parents were both companions, his mother and his father. Aslama bi Makkata qadiman. He took Islam early in Mecca. Wa kana min man yu'adhab. Wa kana min man yu'adhab. Fi dhati Allahi ta'ala. He was from those who was punished and he was harmed in Mecca for the sake of Allah. You see, shahida badran, he participated in badr. Wal mashahida kullaha. And he participated in all the other battles after it. He participated with the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وهاجر الهجرتين and he done the two migration. ووصل إلى القبلتين and he prayed towards the two قبلة. ووردت في فضاء فضائله أحاديث كثيرة. Many virtues have come regarding him. رضي الله تعالى عنه. Bukhari and other than that, other than other than two. Bukhari and Muslim and other than them two have narrated his أحاديث. قتل مظلوما. He was killed wrongfully. Ha. He was killed. Fi waqat al in the in the in the battle of Siffin. Sana ta sab'in wa thalathina. Sana ta sab'in wa thalathina. On the thirty seventh and Hijriya. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, ha, he, he, you will be killed by the oppressing group will kill you. The oppressing group are gonna kill you. This hadith deals with what? Kayfiyatu tayammumi. How to do the tayammum. This, is, this hadith teaches us. So we learn how to do the tayammum. Good. Min al janabati from janaba. Amma radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma, he said, ba'athani nabiyyu, the messenger sent me, fi hajatim, the messenger sent me for an intent, ay fi gharadin, for an intent, for a mission, for something. Fa'ajnab. Janaba happened to me. Sar alayya janaba. Janaba happened to me. Good. Falam ajidil ma'a. I couldn't find water. Falam ajidil ma'a. I couldn't find. Lam yahsul alayhi ba'da talabi. After looking for it, he couldn't find water. Fatamarragtu fi al-sa'idi kama tamarragu al-daba. I tossed, I turned. I scuffled. In the earth, the way the daba does. The beast does. That's how I did it. Then the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam atayt al-nabiyya and then I told the messenger. I told the messenger what happened. فَذَكَرْتُ ذَلِكَ لَهُ I told him what took place. فَقَالَ The messenger said to him إِنَّمَا كَانَ يَكْفِيكَ It was sufficient for you أَن تَقُولَ to say Allahu Akbar Speech is action. أَن تَقُولَ for you to say. You see? For you to say بِيَدِكَ with your hands هَكَذَا this and the Prophet hit his what? ثُمَّ ضَرَبَ بِيَدِهِ the Prophet hit his hand on what? the earth ضَرْبَةً وَاحِدَةً one time one time ثُمَّ مَسْحَ الشِّمَالَ then the Prophet wiped his left left on what? عَلَى الْيَمِيرِ on his hand not his uh, not here just this up to there هيا عَلَى الْيَمِيرِ وَظَاهِرَ كَفَّيْهِ he wiped it on Ali Satsuala and on the Zahir of the Kaf. So it's here 
the batin and the zahir up to there. He did salawatullahi wa sallam alayhi. Wa masaha wajha and he wiped over his face. That's all tayammum is. That's all tayammum is. Fiqhul hadith. Mashru'iyyatu tayammum. The legislation of tayammum. Liman lam yajid al for the person who can't find water. Two, mashru'iyyatu tayammum. The permissibility of tayammum. Li raf'i al hadathayni. For the minor and the major impurity. Both of them. Ah. Tayammum is allowed for the minor and the major impurity. Four. Sorry, three. Al wajibu talabu al ma'i awalan. The first thing is that you look for the water first. Ah. Don't just sit somewhere and say, I don't think I'm going to find water. Look for it first. Like Ammar ibn Yasir did. When you don't find, fa illam yajid, fal yakuni tayammumi. Then you are allowed to do tayammum. Four. Bayanu sifati tayammumi. Clarifying. The way the tayammum can be done. And that it's one hit only on the ground. Five. That the wiping is only for the hand. Where is to what? Kaf. Up to there. And the face only. Ta'atul Amiri wajibatun. Obeying the rule or obeying the leader is obligatory. Seven. Al ijtihadu inda fuqdan al nas wa i'mal al nazar. Ha, the ruling that the scholars use. Qaida, it's a qaida. Ijtihad, striving inda fuqdan al nas when you cannot find text. Wa i'mal al nazar and using observation ha, and striving. Aye. Eight, al mujtahid al If the mujtahid who strives does a mistake, la i'adat alayhi. In the matter he strived on, if it was an action, he doesn't have to bring that action back. The same way, the messenger did not order Ammar ibn Yasir to repeat that prayer. The Prophet didn't order it. How do we know the Prophet did not order it? Because the hadith did not reach us. And if you say, just because the hadith did not reach us, it could have been a possibility that he did. Then he would say to you, Allah did not protect the religion. Is that what you're trying to say? Number, number nine. لا يشترط البدء بالوجه قبل الكفين. That it is not conditioned for you to start with the face before the hands, as as in the wudu. The wudu you start with the face first, and then you go to the hands after that. Correct? That's not the mutayyibum. For this hadith. The next point, and al wajiba that what is obligatory on you in tayammum is what? Al mas'u is to wipe. It is not a tamarrugh, it's not to toss and turn, a scuffle in the earth. No. And it's not what? Al ghasl. It's not to wash yourself with the sand. So you take sand like this and you pour it over your. No. You don't do that. You see. You don't, you don't also have to do, ha, brothers, you don't have to do delk. You don't have to go in and like that. You just wipe, that's it. Khalas. You don't do, you don't even have to do takhleel. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. La, none of that. Just wipe your face, khalas. That's all it is. Next point. Coming back to the ulama. Ha, to, uh, to verify a mas'ala. Murajaatil ulama, bringing the matter back to the scholars, lit tasabuti fil mas'ala, to verify the matter. The next one, alal alimi, it is obligatory on the scholar, and you bayina wa chas sawabi, for him to clarify the correct way in the matter, fil mas'ala, fil masaili, in the matters that are brought to him. He has to clarify it. Oh, the next point, and the ta'lima bi tamthili, to teach by Physically doing something is more stronger and it's more lasting and it's more, it's more what? It reaches the person's comprehension better uh, than just a mere speech. Uh, because the Prophet did it for him. Al-Qiyasu, the analogy that goes against the text, لا يلتفت إليه. We don't look at that. If analogy goes against a text, we don't give it any form of observation and we don't take it into consideration. 
Also, we take from the hadith the next benefit, istihbabu, that is highly recommended. Ba'thu sawaya, to send uh, ambassadors, to sp send delegations to the Muslim world uh, to spread Islam and to fight against the enemy. <laughs> also, the last point, dawazu, the permissibility of clearly mentioning something in which shyness invol involves shyness, but you're saying it because of there's a need present in it. You're mentioning it because there's a haja, there's a need for it. Ikhtilaf al-ulama. The scholars have a dispute in the matter. The dispute that the scholars have is, they disputed whether هل يجزي ضربة واحدة is one hitting sufficient uh, for the face and the hands or two hits are required. A group of scholars have taken إلى أنه لا بد من الضربتين that twice has to be, the person has to hit the earth twice. And they used a hadith. التيمم ضربتان that the hitting is twice. ضربة للوجه one hitting is for the face وَضَرْبَةُ لِلْيَدَيْنِ And another hitting is for the hands إِلَى الْمِرْفِقَيْنِ Up to the what? To the mirfiqain. We had a hadith in ضعيف. That's a weak hadith. That's a weak hadith. وَذَهَبَ الْجُمْهُورُ The majority of the scholars they take. And now يَكْفِي ضَرْبَةً One hit is sufficient for the face and the hand, both of them. And the hadith of Ammar is what they use. And that's the call of the who? Is the jumhur. Because they have a sahih hadith from the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's the first khilaf. The second khilaf is what? They disputed the limits um, the amount of places that need to be wiped on. A group, they, a group said لا بد من المسح اليدين إلى المرفقين That the hands, the wiping has to be up to the mirfiqain here. It has to be up right to the mirfiqain. Ah. And they used a weak hadith that we just previously mentioned. They mentioned the hadith. The next group of scholars, they said, no, it is the kafain. And that is the strongest view. And that is the strongest view. Go back to Ibn Hajar, rahimahullah, in Fatih al-Bari, the first volume, page 444 to 445. He has a nice explanation when he comes to Babu Tayammum in Wajh wal kafain he explains it very well in details and speaks the aqwal and mentions a hadith and speaks about it. Here is a benefit I have to alert and I have to bring to your attention, which is a fa'idah muhimma, jiddan, very important, which is in this hadith, mas'hul yadayni, the wiping of the hands, goes before the what? Wiping of the face. But in the ayah, what goes first? فَمْسَحُوا بِوُجُوهِكُمْ وَأَيْدِيَكُمْ وَأَيْدِيَكُمْ Mina. Here the question is تَقْدِيمُ مَسْحِ الْوَجْهِ عَلَى مَسْحِ الْيَدَيْنِ That's what's in the ayah. What we will say is فَيُقَدَّمْ Then what should be given precedence is مَسْحُ الْوَجْهِ The wiping of the face عَلَى مَسْحُ الْيَدَيْنِ why? لأنه ظاهر القرآن because it's apparent from the Quran, and the majority of the ahad the riwayat, the wordings, the riwayat of the hadith of Ammar, it also came huh, by giving precedence to the face. It has come in the wordings of Ammar. But what about this hadith? How are we can explain this hadith? You know what we're going to say? The wow does not show sequence. The wow does not show sequence. It doesn't show order. So we said the wow doesn't show sequence. So the order can be mentioned like this, but it wasn't order. The ayah, like in the ayah, is an order, and that is going to be taken in that order. Naam. Al hadithu, the next hadith, which is al hadithu al thamin wa the eighty, the thirty-eighth hadith, which is the last hadith in Babu Tayammum. The last hadith. The hadith of Jabir. An Jabir ibn Abdullah رضي الله تعالى عنهما أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال أعطيت خمسا لم يعطهن أحد من الأنبياء قبلي نصرت بالرعب مسيرة الشهر 
وجعلت لي الأرض مسجدا وطهورا فأيما رجل من أمتي أدركته الصلاة فليصلي وأحلت لي الغنائم ولم تحل لأحد قبلي وأعطيت الشفاعة وكان النبي يبعث إلى قومه خاصة وبعثت إلى الناس عامة This hadith Bukhari narrated it and it's his wording and it's his wording Bukhari narrated it in three places in his Sahih Kitab al-Tayammum Kitab al-Salah and Kitab al-Fard al-Khumus Muslim on the other hand he narrated it in Kitab al-Masajid he narrated it in Kitab al-Masajid but the wording of Muslim is وَبُعِثْتُ إِلَىٰ كُلِّ أَحْمَرٍ وَأَسْوَدٍ it doesn't say وَبُعِثْتُ إِلَىٰ النَّاسِ كَافَةٍ it doesn't say and I was sent to to the people all It wasn't saying وَبُعِثْتُ إِلَى النَّاسِ عَامَّةً It says his one وَبُعِثْتُ إِلَى الْأَحْمَرِ وَالْأَسْوَدِ As for Bukhari's wording Abdul Ghani Abdul Wahid is narrated with what? وَبُعِثْتُ إِلَى النَّاسِ عَامَّةً صح? Bukhari's wording doesn't say عامة It says كافة Maybe Abdul Ghani Abdul Wahid al-Maqdisi he said that because the word Amma and Kafa are the same. Maybe that's why. Or he narrated this hadith in terms of its meaning. But Bukhari's wording, it says Kafa. It doesn't say Amma. The biography of Jabir ibn Abdullah, his tarjama. We took it when we were in the what? We took it when we were in the hadith uh, sabi'i wa thalathun. The 37th hadith, we took his biography. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, U'titu, I was given. U'titu. Who gave it to him when he says, U'titu? Meaning, A'tani Allahu azza wa jal. Allah gave it to me, subhanahu wa ta'ala. What did he give him? Khamsan. What does he mean, khamsa? He means khamsu khisal ama khamsu khasaif. Five things which are specifically for me. لم يعطهن أحد No one was given it. أحد من الأنبياء from the prophets قبلي before me. One given it. One. The first one. نصرت ما معنى نصرت؟ أي أعانني الله على أعدائي. Allah gave victory to me over my enemies. ها. بالرعب by way of what? Putting fear. الخوف والوجل. يقذفه الله في قلوب الأعداء. Allah placed in the heart of my enemies. What? Allah placed in their hearts. Fear. When I am at a distance of a month. Masira tashahab. The Prophet is far from them. A whole month distance. They hear Muhammad is moved from Makkah Medina. Fear. Wajal. Khawf comes into their heart. Wajuilat li al ardu. And the earth. The second one. Wajuilat li al ardu. And the earth was made for me what? Masjidan. A masjid. Watahuran. And it was made somewhere pure for me. Ah. The earth was what? I can go anywhere and I can pray salah there. It's a masjid. And the, the sand in it is what? All of it is pure. All of it. If there's no water. Any man من أمتي from my ummah. Which ummah is referred to here? The ummah here is ummah الإجابة. The ummah that accepted his call. Any man or woman whose salah reaches him and he's somewhere, fell you salli, he prays wherever it is. Doesn't matter. Doesn't, he doesn't have to worry. The other one is what? Uhillat li al ghanaim. Allah made for me halal the ghanima and for my ummah. The previous ummah, the previous ummah, what was, how were they? The previous nations, when they participated in a battle, what they would do is they would take the ghanima, the spoils of war. And they will place it in the middle. And a fire will come from the sky and it will burn everything. It will be burnt. They can't touch anything. So they will take it to a place and it will be placed there. And a fire will come from the sky. It will burn it. If, the, if everyone doesn't bring everything, it won't burn. If a, some person stole a spoils of war, it will wait. Everyone has to bring it. Then it will burn it. Ah, that's how it was before. As for my nation, we were allowed to use it and benefit from it. 
ولم تحل لأحد قبلي ها and no one before me from the nations was allowed for this وأعطيت الشفاعة and the Prophet ﷺ the fourth one is what I was given the شفاعة شفاعة العظمى the great intercession ها the day يفزع الناس في الموقف the day when all the nations come to the messenger they come to Adam they come to Nuh they come to Musa they come to Isa يطلبون الشفاعة منهم asking intercession from them to Allah تبارك وتعالى then everyone ask no one is able to give it then they tell him to go to Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and then the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم he will stand and he will intercede on our behalf and then Allah تبارك وتعالى will give him the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم the intercession he has put forth the fifth which is the last one is the fifth one is what the fifth thing was given was وَكَانَ النَّبِيُّ يُبْعَثُ إِلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ The prophets before were sent out from their nations, specifically to their nations. وَبُعِثُ إِلَىٰ النَّاسِ كَافَةِ But I was sent to everyone. I was sent. Muslims narration says it in specific. وَبُعِثُ إِلَىٰ كُلِّ أَحْمَرٍ وَأَسْوَدٍ Everyone. Red, black, it doesn't matter what nation you are. Everyone. He's not specific to a people. Nah. Fiqh al-Hadith. The fiqh of the Hadith. One. ذكر الخمس خصال The mentioning of these five characteristics that have been mentioned in this hadith are not the only five. But in other narrations there are additional things. Uh, there's a, there are other narrations that mention a sixth one. Two. بيان خصائص هذه الأمة عموما ونبيها خصوصا This hadith it mentions the specification, the things that were unique for this nation and also unique for our Prophet. Three. بيان فضل هذه الأمة the virtue of this ummah over all the other nations four the virtue of our prophet over all the other prophets five التحدث بنعم الله the permissibility of talking about that which Allah has blessed you and that is not showing off as some people may think if Allah has blessed you with something to have a good intention to mention it it falls under this hadith and it also falls under the speech of Allah وأما بنعمة ربك فحدث Six, الأصل في الأرض الطهارة. The original essence of the earth is that it's pure. Seven, صحة الصلاة. The salah is accepted and it will take place in every place on the earth, anywhere where that person is, except where the evidences have shown they're not allowed. Like the places where the camels stay at night. You know where they're kept. You can't pray salah. It's impermissible there. You can't pray in the places of the filthy places where people do call of nature. You're not allowed to. The eighth thing is that the Prophet's message is general to everyone, to every person. Nine, to the permissibility of benefiting from spoils of war. Ten, affirming for the Prophet ﷺ intercession. Eleven, this hadith is aslun. This hadith is a asal. A foundation for what? للقاعدة المعروفة for the well-known principle which is الأصل في الأعيان الطهارة إلا مستثنية the أصل of of each things and matters are pure until proven until proven else other than it. Twelve. The means for victory to accompt to the people over the enemies is that Allah, with His permission, to place in the enemies fear and ru'ab. And that the believers have to ask from Allah. And from Him alone is the only one who can do it. Tabarak wa ta'ala. Last one is, karamatu hadhi ummati bin nabiyyiha. This ummah are honored because of their Prophet. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.